few people here are taking this letter at face value. Both the text of the letter and the timing of it point to the fact that when North Korea talks about hostile military acts, it's really talking about those military drills that are due to take place here next month. They're drills that happen every year and they annoy North Korea every year. You might remember last year just how tense things got and the military drills were a part of that. So along with this plea to end hostile acts, North Korea is also issuing a veiled threat warning South Korea not to rashly reject its proposal and to try and avoid impending nuclear a disaster. I guess a lot will depend on whether the drills go ahead. You think they will? I think it would be very um, unlikely that the US and South Korea cancel them, particularly in the current atmosphere. The US and South Korea have made uh, a big public show of not giving in to what they say is North Korean demands, North Korean bad behavior. Um, they need some kind of concrete commitment from North Korea to denuclearize before they'll sit down around a table and make, um, make some concessions. So I think it's very unlikely those drills are going to be canceled. And of course, the question here and in many parts of the world will be what will North Korea do as and when the drills go ahead?